So let's um, use what we know about 45, 45, 90 triangles to get at uh, the sine, cosine, and tangent angle uh, values of larger angles, larger than 45. Like 45 is pretty, pretty easy to get at because we know if we have just the equilateral triangle, 45, 45, 90, and if this side is 1, um, we've done this work in class. You can look at another video too. We know this side is, is 1 over root 2, which we could, we could say is also uh, root 2 over 2. So I'm going to write them this way, root 2 over 2. And I know that um, sine in a triangle is opposite over hypotenuse. And what's nice is the hypotenuse is 1, so it's just the opposite side, which is root 2 over 2. Cosine is adjacent to root 2 over 2. So sine is uh, root 2 over 2. Cosine is root 2 over 2. Tangent is, is uh, opposite over adjacent, so something divided by itself is just 1. So straightforward for 45 degrees. But let's talk about, uh, and notice that like right in here, boom, there's 45 degrees. That point right there is square root uh, 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. Because we can fit that 45, 45, 90 triangle right in there and still think about that opposite adjacent piece where that's 45 degrees. Um, and notice also that sine is opposite. So there's our sine value. And cosine is adjacent. There's our cosine value. So basically, we're going to start thinking about on the unit circle where the hypotenuse is one, because we're just dividing by one. Um, cosine is basically the x value of the, of the terminating point. Sine is basically y value of the terminating point. All right. So we, we've got we've got that in there for this 45 degrees. So all right, 45 degrees here. So how does that help us with something like 135 degrees? For example, um, what if I wanted to find sine of 135, cosine of 135 degrees? 135 degrees looks like this. I don't, I don't have a right triangle. I don't have a hypotenuse because I don't, I don't have a right angle. Like I, I, this whole right triangle thing starts to fall apart a little bit. But what's really convenient is I can, uh, I can think about this on here. So 135 degrees will come to about here. And notice that for 135 degrees, that reference angle in there is 45 degrees. So really with 135 degrees, what I have is just the 45, 45, 90 tucked in here. Um, and I'll say 135 degrees here. And I know that the length of this side is root 2 over 2. I know the length of this side is also root 2 over 2. And notice this part's going back. So that x value is actually negative. So here's where, if I think about this point, here's where this, this idea becomes really important. My x value is negative root 2 over 2. My y value is root 2 over 2. And so if I think of, of this having this side length having direction, so it's negative, it goes to the left, then I can still think about that same adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, remember, the hypotenuse is 1, opposite over hypotenuse. So that means the sine would just be this y component, the height. It'd be root 2. <laughs> It'd be root 2. Sorry about that. Over 2. And the cosine would be negative that. Negative root 2 over 2. And the tangent, something divided by a negative version of itself, is negative 1. Cool. So there is there's a good piece as well. So let's, let's, uh, let's keep on with this idea of uh, keeping things. I didn't want to get rid of that. So 135 degrees. Let's do 225 degrees. Pick another color. And do 225 degrees. 225 degrees is like all the way to here. So notice that angle, like that that 225 degrees can't even be a side of a can't even be a side of a I'm sorry an angle in a triangle. So I'm still gonna take advantage of uh, this 45, 45, 90. Notice that if I drop this straight down. This angle in here is 45 degrees. So this is 225 degrees. 
So there's my 45, 45, 90. So I know that side's one. I know that this x value, it's going back. So it's root two over two, it's negative root two over two. And then notice it's also going down. So my y value is also negative like that. So at 225 degrees, the coordinates of my point are negative root two over two, negative root two over two. So if I think about opposite and adjacent, or if I think about x and y, um, sine opposite or y of uh, 225 is negative root two over two. And cosine would be also the x value, negative root two over two. Tangent, y over x, cosine over sine, opposite, uh, opposite over adjacent, sorry, going this way, um, is going to be a positive one. Negative divided by negative is positive. And I'm trying to write a one. There we go. Great. And uh, you can probably guess what the next angle that I'm going to do is. Try and clean up some of this a little bit. So the last angle that I will think about here, pick another color, will be 315 degrees, which is here. Boop all the way around like that. That's 315 degrees. Notice that what I have here is a 45. So if I drop that triangle right there, I have my 45, 45, 90. So my x value, this is positive root 2 over 2. And the y value has a magnitude, a length of, of root 2 over 2, but it's going down, so it's negative. And then uh, similarly, if I just think about my sine cosine tangent values, uh, 315 sines opposite or y, so negative root 2 over 2, cosines adjacent or x, root 2 over 2. Um, if I go opposite over um, adjacent for tangent, negative divided by positive is negative. So here's, knowing this 45, 45, 90 actually lets me know the value of one, two, three, four, of these four different angles all together. And again, what we're doing is we're transitioning out of just right triangle trig and thinking about if we have angles larger than 90 degrees, we can assign some direction to the X and Y component and we still have those same ratios.